As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of the Wizard Monkey. However, it might not actually be bad anymore because they recently buffed it by making the Prince of Darkness unpopped mobs deal 25 damage instead of 20 damage and the BFBs do 130 damage instead of 100 damage. With this ninja key, we said Prince of Darkness is one of Wizard's least used upgrades since Top Path Wizard is often more reliable than this upgrade for DDT defense. This damage buff should hopefully make it more effective and give it more use cases. Along with this, Wizard actually received a buff in the update before this as well for the Wizard Lord Phoenix, which was actually quite impactful too. So today we'll be using the Wizard and Azili combination and showing you guys how strong it really is and it's actually better than I expect. And as always guys, if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It's free and we're really trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the summertime and only you can help me get there and we're actually pretty close, so subscribe. But now on to the video. All right, guys, as we are against Vicar Lawrence, who is going smudge cat Azili here. And look at this, guys. I'm bringing normal Azili. So we got an Azili versus Azili matchup here. And we are on the map of Sun Palace today with the loadout of Bomb, Wizard, and Farm. This is actually one of the best wizard strategies in the entire game for sure. We're going to start with our wizard right about here, though, is going to be the plan. And they're going smudge cat with their starting. Okay, that's fine. But yeah. This strategy should be pretty good for us here. Um, You're going to start with the wizard. I think I'm going to start with a wall of fire. It's going to be the plan, but I want to get my. um. Azili down round one is going to be important here. So we're going to try to do that. And then I'll get my, try to save for my wall of fire and everything should be fine. Let's go for Azili. You're right about here. Perfect. Now I'm not actually sure how good wall fire is on this map. Um, I've never really ran it, ran it on this map before. So we're gonna have to wait and see how that ends up playing out for us, but it should be decent. You know, at the end of the day, it should be, well, maybe, hmm. I'm thinking about maybe starting with the other wizard path. Cause I've seen people start with that path as well. Let me think about it a little, little bit. Do I start with the top path wizard, the arcane blasts? So I'm not sure if Wolfire will actually defend on this map. And I've seen people use arcane blasts to start with if Wolfire doesn't defend for them. So let's try that out. Let's try that out. We're not arcane blast. It's uh, arcane mastery is what people would start with. We'll try that out. We'll just have a two zero zero and a fireball to begin with. And maybe I can get a, my first farm down here pretty sec, pretty soon. Get an early farm on the map. All right, we did that. All right, good start for us. Pwn's going boomerang with a uh, smudge guys though, which is pretty interesting. You don't see boomer smudge too often here, or you don't really see either too often. I mean, boomerang is kind of popular on some maps. It's not bad at all. Okay, they go for a Kylie off the start. Kylie is actually not bad here, especially if they put on that on last. That should be pretty effective for them with the placement. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be pretty good for them. We're just going to keep farming. And then against white balloons, I'm gonna need this arcane mastery. I can probably sell my wizard for about 400. And then I need about 800 on hand. Okay. And we'll get that bad boy up. All right, one equal boost to get it up. And I can cross path it as well if I need to. At the moment, it's not necessary. I think this will just defend, especially with the extra pierce from Azili, which helps it out quite a bit. But once I need to, I'll buy, I think you buy intense magic cross path is what you do. Let me see. More powerful magic shoots faster and can pop more balloons. Yeah, I think Pierce is more important to have than Fireball with this guy. I'd imagine. I think Pierce is going to be the best play for us. We'll probably need the extra Pierce against Yellows, is my guess. So just three layers of damage per shot. So Yellows, it's still going to take two shots. Let's get Pierce. Let's help his defense. Now, I will need more defense against um purple balloons, obviously. It does not pop purples, but I can use the Z level 3 ability to defend some purples, and then I'll get my bomb shooter down. Okay, it's in my bomb down. The bomb actually should help, up, help it out quite a bit, because it's popping the yellow balloons down one layer, so it only takes one shot if the bomb hits it, which makes a difference. They actually did not send me purples, though, so... I technically do not need to upgrade my bomb shooter at all. If they don't say purples, I don't really need any more defense. So that's nice. It's pretty nice for me. Sniper. Okay. Boomer smudge sniper. Interesting. They're upgrading their sniper monkey a little bit. Okay. We're going to keep it going. Let's use our Z level 3 ability. We'll get the cluster bomb up. All is good. Get another farm down. Wait. Let's actually upgrade that to bigger bombs. Okay, we're good. Oh crap, I don't have, um, a, what's it called on our side? He sends me camel purples. Wait, does Azili pop camel purples? I did not mean to send those. Let's put this on camel priority targeting. Okay, it's Boomer Sniper Mortars their loadout. That's a very interesting loadout. Very interesting loadout here. 
Boomer Sniper Mortar. Oh, Zeely pops Camel Purples. Okay, so I'm kind of fine here. Let's use that ability. We use our we use our Camel Pop and Power ability to let that defend it. If they send me more, then I'll get Shimmer up. But currently, I don't need it. Wait, am I good here? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I had to get Shimmer up. They sent me enough Camel Purples to force. That's totally fine. I was trying to greed it, but it's all good getting Shimmer up. It's not an end of the world. It's not the end of the world. But yeah, I feel like I'm totally fine taking this late game. Wizard actually has some solid late game popping power. They buffed the Wizard Lord Phoenix quite a bit recently. So Wizard Lord Phoenix isn't bad. Um, they buffed the Prince of Darkness recently. They buffed the Archmage recently. Am I fine against these? Do I need to get heavy bombs? I don't think I need heavy bombs. Now we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling. This is, this is actually a pretty strong defensive combination right here. This wizard right here is very underrated. The Arcane Mastery is actually quite good. People don't use this guy enough. It's actually quite effective. Okay. Round 17. Let's upgrade the farm. I don't know, I don't know how much eco I'm going to want to go for this game. Maybe 2k eco would be the plan. 2k eco should be pretty decent for us. I am going to need to upgrade this to heavy bombs here in a second though. Just to make sure we're all good. Yeah. There we go. We're fine now. Now, against mob class rushes, I am going to get the Zeely level 8 here in a second, which is really helpful, which is going to make the uh, Zeely do a lot more mob class damage. So, if I get, if I use that, if I use that with a totem, and I get a molar up, I should be fine against like a fortified mob. I'd imagine. Doesn't look like they're sending me one anyways, so we're good. Maybe I go for more than 2k eco. Maybe I try to like go high on the eco. I'll see, try to do as much eco as possible while getting around 24 monkey wall streets is what I'll do. So, I'll probably be like 2.5k eco or something. That's what it'll end up being. Okay, my mob skins are still messed up for some reason. I'm assuming that's a fortified moab. I don't know why my mob skins are like this, but we should be fine against this. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's... It's, it's weird. When I stream, it's not messed up. But when I'm recording videos, my mob skins are messed up. So I don't know, understand what why it's messed up when I'm recording, but not streaming for the most part. It's very odd how it works out. All right. Get our marketplace up. AI mob, we should be totally fine against this. We should be completely fine. All is good. We'll go 2.5k on the eco. Am I good against AI here? They're actually boosting AI. Their signal flare... Why are they targeting their signal flare not at the start of the map? I don't understand. They're targeting. Okay, they get up a full auto on their side. They're good. They're good. They're good. Okay, I actually passed my 2.5k eco mark. We'll go 3k eco. I think... I honestly think we can go 3k eco and still afford my round 24 monkey wall street, which is the plan here. So, if I can get 3k eco with that, I'll be pretty happy here. We need to get the central market up here in a second. Perfect. Um, am I good? Let's use totem. Just to play it safe, because I have so many lives on my side that I'm I'm fine using totems just to play it safe, you know. Using totems isn't bad at you. Okay, how much do these farms sell for? We have about That's like almost 12k. And that's another 4k, so it's like 16k of selling. So I need like 16k. I need like 30k by the end of this round. Which I'll definitely have 30k by the end of this round, I think. Yeah, I'll be able to get my monkey wall street up here. This is really good. 3k eco, round 24 monkey wall street is incredibly good for us. So, I'm happy about my positioning here. And the other nice thing about my loadout is Wizard with Azili has very, very cheap DDT popping power. A couple arcane spikes, if you use your totem and like hex and stuff, can defend a ton of DDTs. So, DDT should not be a problem at all for me here. Okay, we got our wall street up. That's perfect. All is good here. Let's upgrade that. Yeah, our, our money situation is very good here. We're rich right now. We're rich as can be. And my opponent doesn't even have a... Oh, they have a sniper farm. They have one elite sniper, okay. Yeah, my opponent's not super rich on their side. Let's get a bigger bombs on my side here. Just to be a little bit safe with it. Go for a central market here. Let's go for a necromancer. If they rush me with DTs, I can go for an assassin or I can go for arcane spike and totem and stuff. I don't think they're going to send me DTs though. It doesn't seem like they're interested. 
I'm still going to drop an Arcane Spike, though. Just to be safe with it. Should I go for a Prince of Darkness? It was buffed recently. It's only 24k, too. Maybe I'll go for a Prince of Darkness later, I think. I want to go for a... um. That. I want to go for that first. If they send me DTs, then go for three Arcane Spikes with Totem. And Tower Boost if it's necessary, but... Appears like it's not going to be necessary. We're just going to keep on max farming here. They have stopped their eco and there's full sniper farming now. That's totally fine. That's totally fine, Mr. Vicar Lawrence. Alright, let's get another farm here. Perfect. So late game, um, we can spam arc... Is it better to spam arcane spikes for BAD damage or is it better to spam um, phoenixes? I'm not actually sure with Azili. We'll get the fifth tiers first. First, it's best to get the 5th tiers up, like my... What's it called? My... Wizard Lord Phoenix, my Archmage, my Mobile Limiter, that type of stuff. But then after I built all of that up, which Wizard upgrade is better to spam? I'm not entirely sure. They go for one more farm. And then we'll get this Wizard Lord Phoenix up here. Okay, they're sending me a Fortified BAD. I think Wizard Lord Phoenix. Let's tower boost this. Wizard Lord Phoenix and Mobile Eliminator should be able to pop this fortified BD alone some. They're actually quite good. Okay, there's gonna be multiple. Against multiple, I'm not sure about that. Let's go for Balloon Crush here. Yeah, we're good. What is Hex? Hex doesn't really help me out much here, just because all of our defenses we we only need to pop the layer. We don't really need to pop the insides, but we'll still do we're still doing it for safety. We should be fine here. Totem takes so long to come back. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think another problem there is I don't have everything on strong. Strong targeting is what I should have on all of these guys. Because the insides, again, aren't a problem. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Okay, that was a good defend. That was a good defend. Oh, I don't even have an Archmage on my side, too. Okay, well, that was a big misplay on my end, not having Archmage. Let's target the totem in the very center. Let's get up Prince of Darkness. They're saying good game. I want to defend more, though. Send me more. Send me more. I want to test the defense, brother. That wasn't a great test. There's only two BADs. I still have three farms on my side. I didn't even sell all my farms. Oh, looking at damage, by the way, from the rush. I should have looked at this beforehand. My Wizard Lord Phoenix got 124,000 pops, and my Mobile Eliminator got 74,000. So Wizard Lord Phoenix did most of the, br the brute force of that damage there. It's honestly not bad against BADs. All right, if he's not sending me, I guess I'll send them a 4 or 5 BAD and end it. I kind of wanted to defend more, but they aren't sending me anymore, unfortunately. So... I don't think they're going to be able to defend this with their current setup. Actually, the elite defender does... Well, no, they don't have an elite defender on their side. What am I saying? I can send one more as well. We'll send one more following it up. And then we'll showcase in another video, in another game. I really wish they sent me more, though, dude. I, I did not get satisfied enough with that defense. I mean, defending two four of my bads is not bad, but, like, we could defend so much more. I had farms still on the map and everything. Uh, they actually might pop one, surprisingly. They might pop one beat. Uh, they're dead against the insides, though. Yeah, GG. I'll catch you guys in the next game. Let's get it. All right, guys. Next match of today's video is against Vicar Lawrence. I think this is the first opponent I played as well. So this is we're, we're matching them again here. And we switched up the load a little bit. I switched a bomb for Druid. And I'll kind of tell you why. Um, One, this isn't a very good bomb map. The way the map's kind of oriented, bomb doesn't get that much value because it's all straight lines. There isn't really good bins for the bomb shooter. So that's why I thought Druid might be better because we can start with the Druid and Druid kind of uh, offers similar things to the bomb offering us because Druid has the knockback for late game or like I can pop the BADs down and right and then Druid can just knock back all the insides with Superstorm. Similar to how the Bloon Crush works. So Druid should be a pretty good um, substitute here for us. So yeah, start with my Druid right here. They're starting with their Boomerang and their Wizard. So opponent has switched their loadout because last time they're going, um, last time they were bringing, what was it? Boomerang, 
sniper mortar. So it definitely can't be that loadout this time because they're going wizard. So we'll see what it we'll see what their loadout actually is here. So I'm not exactly sure how to start this off with my loadout. Um, I feel like this should be decent to start off. I got all my druid leaks in, which is nice. We're gonna want to get a heart of thunder on this eventually. Will be the plan. Heart of thunder. And I think I'll need that pretty soon here because Azita doesn't really do much for me defensively. All right, they got their Kylie up. So they started with the Kylie just like last time. So they like the Kylie start. Lightning. All right, we're good. I should be good with this current defensive setup for a while. I could have also did the same start I did last time where I started with the um, top path wizard, which honestly wouldn't have been a bad idea. But I'm going to start with the druid. My plan defensively is I'm going to start with a druid like this, and then I'm going to go for a necromancer on round 11-ish would be how I kind of play it out. I think that should be decent. Druid and then Necromancer. Let's go for a farm. Perfect. There. Oh, they actually have farm as well. Um. Okay, so it's Bo it's Boomer Wizard Farm. It's Boomer Wizard Farm from them. So we both have Wizard Farm Azili loadouts. That's actually pretty interesting. Boomer Wizard Farm honestly wouldn't be that bad as well for like what we're trying to do with the Wizard Spam late game because Boomerang can also stall the insides. And Boomerang, you probably have better early game greed too. So honestly, I kind of like their loadout. I should have I should have tried it out. I feel like it probably it might be better than mine in all honesty. I'm not sure. We definitely have a stronger late game with Druid, but they'll probably have better farms than me if they play it well. Because Boomer has better greed. So yeah. At the moment everything is good. Round seven. Go for another farm here. I don't know how many farms I can actually go for, because I need to get that Necromancer up for sure. The Necromancer is gonna be important on my end. So maybe we just go for two. Maybe we just do two farms, then we call it a day. And then we call it a day on the farming game. Okay. My Necromancer is going to be placed right here. Is going to be the placement on it. We'll get Fireball on it as well. Well, this is good here. Monkey Sense. They're in their wizard down as well. They're using the same wizard spot as me. Wait, do I have to remove the obstacle? Does it not place Ghost Balloons in the obstacle range? Ideally, I don't want to spend that money to remove it. But if I have to remove it, I guess it is what it is, you know? I'm a little bit off on the funds that I need for this. I need one eco boost. Okay, we got it up. Let's see. The ghost. Okay, the ghost balloons still spawn in the back, so I technically don't need to remove the obstacle because we still got the ghost balloons spawning where I want them to. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. All is good here. Send them some spaced rainbows. I will get Druid of Wrath on this eventually, but at the moment it's not necessary, right? Well, maybe I should still buy it just to keep my. No, we're not going to buy it yet. We're not going to buy it yet. I'll go for a farm first. We'll buy it later. We'll get some greed action coming in here first. We're going to get this to a plantation. Yep. Plantation coming in here. Viable bananas on it as well. Perfect. Let's actually send them white balloon eco because white balloon eco does more damage against a necromancer than black balloon eco. It's more dense now. I mean, it, they don't have their boomerang on last targeting either. I definitely put that boomerang on last on their side. I think they'd be defending a little better. Let's get Druid of Wrath on my end. Try to keep my Necromancer power healthy here with Druid of Wrath. If they send me a rush, I can always totem as well. Or tower boost. Oh, I just realized. Since I do have a Z, I can actually get my other Druid leaks in pretty easily here. Because I can just totem. I can just get Druids with um bottom path down and use totems to get Druid leaks in. Unfortunately, I did leak quite a bit early. So I won't be able to get a huge amount of uh, life buff on them. But I can still get life buff, which is really nice. So... I'll take that. That's actually pretty nice. The Zili told him to get life buff on the Druids. We will definitely be making good use of that later in the game. All right, 1300 eco is not bad. If anything starts to get, if the balloons start to overrun my Necromancer pile a little bit, I can still buy Wall of Fire on this, which will help out quite a bit. So that's always an option. All right, 1500 eco here, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good on the eco spectrum. Round 18, are they going to send me a fortified Moab? We didn't find out. If they do, I'll totem, I think. And then hope that's enough to defend. It doesn't look like they will. Okay, that's fine. Do I go for 3k eco again is the question. Do I go for like the same amount of eco I went for the first match? Or do I go for less? Because I don't, I don't think I'll be able to get 3... I don't think I'll be able to do 3k eco round 24 Monkey Wall Street again. Because we had a little bit less early game greed this time around. Our farms and stuff weren't as good at early game. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Let's get Wolf Fire on my end. Get a little bit defensive support here. 
We should be good against these ceramics. Necromancer pops them, right? Yeah, we're chilling. Okay. They got double Kylie on their side. So they're Kylie boomerang lover over there. We should be good against the Moab. Yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling. What do I do against a big regrow lead rush? Well, we can stop regrow with our um, Z level 3 ability, which is nice. Let's get one of these in the back. All right, we're chilling. Maybe I still can do 3k eco round 24 monkey wall street, actually. Maybe I can. It depends on if they rush me or not, in all honesty. It depends on if they rush me. Because I'm almost at 3k eco. I like our I like our spot here. All right, they got their central market up. Nicely done. They definitely have less eco than me, though. 100%. They have less. Okay, 3k eco on the dot. Feeling good. They are sending me that. Okay, we defend it. Reluctantly. I don't think I will get my monkey Wall Street anymore, though, after spending money to defend that. I also did not get extra druid buffs with my totem. I, I meant to go for druids before I used totems, and I did not, so that's a little bit unfortunate as well. How much did he sell for? 10.5k. 18.5k. So I need... 28k. I can still get it. I can still get it. Wait a sec. I can still get it. If I'm greedy. Am I greedy enough? Yeah, we get it. We get it. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright, let's get some druid leaks in. We're going to use a totem. To get some extra life buffs coming in here for druids. This will be a super storm. This will be a spear of the force later. They get their wall street up. Nicely done. But they get it up in the middle of the round instead of the start of the round, which I definitely think is a mistake coming out from my opponent. I don't think that's very good. Okay. I like our positioning here, though. I like it quite a bit. Oh, crap. Let's use Totem here. I actually probably did not need Hex there, I'll be honest. Hex was not necessary. That was not a very smart decision. I just don't know. I don't use Wizard enough is the thing. I don't know how many Wizard upgrades... When I need to use tower boost, when I don't, like, against some of these rushes. I'm not very experienced with the wizard guys. So, you gotta bear with me here. Let's go for Prince of Darkness, though. Let's just buy Prince of Darkness up. I'll be fine against CTs for the most part now with this guy. They buffed it recently as well. We're good. I still have a tower boost left, so I'm not ter it's not terrible that I had to do that against that rush. But, yeah. Wasn't the best. I think we're fine here, though. We're fine. Let's use another totem. Get some more druid leaks in. I don't want to use all my totems getting druid leaks because I still want totems to help me out late game defensively, but we'll use a couple just to get a little more druid leaks in on our side. Let's get that up. Nice. I like our positioning here, though. I like our positioning quite a bit. I think we're in a pretty good spot, even with the mistakes we've made. Let's get research facility. Can I fit up another farm here? I can. Wait, where was it? Where was it? I guess I won't even go for it. I'll just place farm up here. They tried selling for their banana central, but I guess they don't have money for it. They still don't have the banana central up, so that's good for me. Okay, they get it up now. That's it for the farms. Do I go for an avatar of wrath first? Is that going to be the first defensive thing I go for? Yeah, they go for that. Let's go for avatar of wrath on my end. Let's use totem here. And now we'll save up for Superstorm. Avatar of Wrath and Superstorm, I think, is enough to defend this. Maybe not, because my Avatar of Wrath won't hit the BAD for a good portion of the map. If it had better map coverage, then I think it might be enough. So I'm not entirely sure if this is enough, but I'm going to hope it is. Hmm. Should I sell my Prince of Darkness? Let's sell it. Let's go for that.
Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, okay. <laughs> I played that pretty risky. I'll be honest. I was a little bit risky the way I defended that, but we got the defense at the end of the day. I didn't. I, I guess I, I could have definitely tower boosted and defended with the Avatar of Wrath. That definitely was an option. Tower boost would have been enough to defend. Let's use another totem. Get more. Get more Druid leaks in. Tower boost and Avatar of Wrath would have defended that for sure. But I think how we defended that was fine. At the end of the day. And now we've got a pretty strong defensive setup on our end. We've got Avatar of Wrath, we've got Wizard Lord Phoenix, we've got Superstorm. They have a slightly out farm, but that's totally fine. They lost money sending the BD and lost 800 eco. No way he's dead against... No way you're dead against AI, bro! There's no way! Alright guys, last match of today's video. We are on the map of Banana Depot here with the same loader as before. And we are against TAC user. Okay, this person probably won a meta strategy here, so I need to be careful. They brought Star Captain Jericho as well, so it's probably TAC Mortar Farm for my opponent. So this will be a very interesting one. If I can beat TAC Mortar Farm, Star Captain Jericho with this Lodo, guys, I'm going to feel pretty comfortable about Bomb Wizard Farm here. I feel pretty comfortable about Wizard, in, in all honesty, because we brought Druid was pretty good last game. You know, I think Bomb Wizard Farm is better than Druid Wizard Farm, but some maps you can't really go Bomb with. Like Dino Graveyard, Druid was definitely the play. A little bit unfortunate though, my opponent died to AI, dude. That would have been an interesting late game. I would have actually been able to see how good the defense was. And my opponent just dies to AI. So hopefully this is a good one to end off the video on. Um, let's upgrade this to, what's it called, frag bombs. And then we'll start saving up for that cluster bombs as soon as humanly possible here will be the plan. And it should work out pretty well for us. Should work out pretty well, you know? Everything should be fine. All right. Uh, we'll go one more eco boost. I'll get the cluster bomb up. So I can get a little bit more eco here. They got to actually, they actually start with a um, blade shooter on there, and that's interesting. Normally, you see people starting with a 220 attack instead of, but they have a 130, which is more expensive. I don't like how they're starting. It's more expensive. You don't really need it. I'm not exactly sure why they went for the blade shooter, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. See that obstacle? It's on strong, right? Yeah. I'll actually upgrade this to bigger bombs. With the bigger bombs bomb shooter my Z, that should be good for a while now. Um, I could have wizard started as well, but I feel like since this map is really, really strong for the bomb, I think bomb starting is better. On a map like Sun Palace, with like our first match, I think wizard start was fine. But this map, I definitely like the bomb start. I like how the bomb feels starting out with, you know what I mean? It's a good feeling. Send them some white balloons. They play their attack shooter, nicely done. They're sending me whites, I should be good with my current setup, I'd like to believe. Yeah, we're leaking a little bit, actually. Oh, we're good. We're good. We'll get our farm down here in a second. They will have the early out farm on me, but that's totally fine. That's all good. Got our farm down. And we'll be slowly upgrading this guy as well. Get our increased production up. Perfect. Uh, maybe keep this on first. Actually, just let our bomb do the work. I don't want to mess up my bomb's targeting with my Zeely hits. Uh, we're fine. Let's upgrade this in creator production. Soon there's going to be camo balloons that come out from the AI balloons. And the nice part is I have a Zeely here. So Zeely should be able to deal with the AI decently well, the camo AI. I'll just still leak a little bit, but it should be decent. Our bomb's leaking more than it typically would, though. I don't know why our bomb's leaking so much here. I've gotten bomb Jericho all the time on this map, and I barely leak. I don't really leak at all with this current setup. So maybe a Zeely is just worse with bomb than Jericho defensively. So I really want to go for a plantation here, but I'm a little skeptical now with the amount of leaked... If I can go for it. Hmm. I'm still going to go for it because you know me and my greed, but I'm not going to go for it with a um, smile on my face, you know? He did force my heavy bombs out on me as well. Okay. Plantation's been bought. We're good. We're going to still zebras they're sending me. Long life. Everything's fine. Bye, Nanners. Okay, we'll go for a wizard right here. We'll tower boost this. I sent a really big rush. I'm fine tower boosting that. Okay, I feel like they're going to re-rush me. And if they do... Second cluster... Is on the... This should defend. Yeah, it defends easily. Okay. Yeah, two clusters is more than enough to defend that. Especially with the regrow blocker. We're chilling. Okay. Honestly, probably an overreaction buying Wool of Fire on my Necromant on my Shimmer with that. 
I didn't need to buy a uh, wolf fire on that, but I just needed to make sure I was okay defensively. So it wasn't a terrible decision to buy it, but it was not necessary. Now that I have totem available though, should I sell this guy? Yeah, let's sell him and we'll get a plantation back up. We'll make a little greed play. Perfect. And then going into round 17, I think I'll buy Necromancer on this. Necromancer is going to be pretty helpful defensively for me, especially with the Zeely, because the Zeely can buff the Necromancer quite a bit with its totem. So I think that'll be pretty smart for us. We should be good against the Steel with my current setup. We're fine. All right, pretty soon here, I'd like to get that Necro up. One more Eco Boost, and I get it up. Perfect. We're good, we're good. Everything's fine. All right, let's cross my farm. All right, I like our positioning here. I think we're pretty good here. Um, Got our totem available. We have 44 lives, so we have a couple totem uses um, available too, if anything gets hairy. We're going to keep eco. We almost have 1k eco, which is pretty solid. Definitely not going to have as much money as the previous two matches, because this is a much harder map, and we're against Jericho. So it does complicate things a little bit, but we should be fine at the end of the day. If they send me a fortified Moab, Honestly, against a 4 or 5 mob, I think Totem's enough. Unless they send balloons behind. If they send balloons behind, then I'll probably need more. But Totem with Necromancer is very, very strong. Okay, they're stealing from me. Totem. Let's see how this does. This is unstrong, right? Oh, it's on camera priority. No. I need to hit in the mob. I don't want a camera priority anymore. Okay, Necromancer actually shreds through the fortified ceramics, though. We're good. Yeah, no more camel priority on the on the Zeely. That wouldn't that's not good for me. Yeah. I need to hitting those Moabs instead of hitting the strongest camel balloon. Gotta stop I think I'll stop my eco at 2k here. 2k this game would be a pretty good stopping point for the eco. I don't want to go crazy with the eco like the previous two matches. 2k and we call it there. We call it a day at 2k. Necromancer deals with all those. Necromancer is really strong on this map. Very, very underrated upgrade. Should be good against this Moab. They send me a fortified BFB. I'm going for a Phoenix on my side. Yeah, they're leaking on their side a lot. They're about to die to AI. Yeah, that did not look very good for them. Okay, they're stealing from me. Go for Dragon's Breath. This should be enough. We're almost at our 2k eco mark that I was aiming for. Perfect. All is good here. Okay, if they send me some tight leads, I need to be careful for those, obviously. So far, nothing. I have the re I have the regrow blocker back as well, which is nice. They're sending me one of those. Interesting. Boost. We should be fine against this. Yeah, we defended that. Oh my gosh, he all outed me with leads with the ZMG. Dude, two recursives. Two recursives is more than enough, though. Recursives are great against that. Wait. Second. 8k. I don't know if I can afford my bomb blitz if they send me Moabs. If they send me tight Moabs, am I screwed? I think I'll be fine against tight Moabs, actually. I think I can find a way. I can afford I can afford bomb blitz. I can afford bomb blitz against tight Moabs. I'm good. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. That was a big rush they just sent me. Very big rush. Now my opponent's just dead against DTs. There's not really a way they can defend them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play with my food a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm I'm gonna hold them hostage here a little bit. See? See how they try to wiggle their way out of this one a little bit. Yeah, they're not DDTing me. Go for a second central market on my end. We've definitely got them out ecoed, and we've got them out farm pretty hard, so. I like our positioning here. Yeah, we're good against that. If anything gets super hairy, I can honestly just afford um bomb blitz on my side. Not bomb blitz. Well, I can afford bomb blitz, but I can afford balloon crush on my side. If anything gets crazy, if anything gets scary, balloon crush is the is the way. Let's get that up. They're gonna rush me here. We just sell that for balloon crush. Yep. Oh, Ryan, why'd you build up a Monkey Wall Street if you're just going to sell it right after? Listen, guys. We made them rush me, okay? That's Phoenix 
totem. We're good against all that. Dude, how many Moabs did my Hex just go through? What the heck? I didn't know it could jump that many times. That was actually crazy. I popped all those Moabs during the Hex, and I don't think any of like the ceramics popped out because of how it worked. All right, well, let me know your thoughts down below on the wizard, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think the wizard is good now, or do you think the wizard is still a bad tower in Balloon Seed Battles 2? And guys, if you did enjoy today's video, I'm sure you enjoyed this Spike Factory video where this Spike Factory strategy is OP. So go make sure to go check that out. But I'm like out. Peace, lads. Thank you guys so much for watching.